Hey kids, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric, and welcome to another YouTube video. Today we are going to go ahead and take a look at Dragon Mark for Death on the Nintendo Switch. This is an action RPG where you can play as one of four different characters as you go on a whole variety of different missions and quests in order to kind of, uh, I guess, redeem the Dragon Blood Clan. So, let's go ahead and find out if it's any good in today's YouTube video. So, Dragon Mark for Death. Full disclosure, this game was actually provided to me by the developers. They sent me a copy to review for the channel. So, big thanks to you guys. And I know right away, people are going to be like, Eric... You got this game free. Is it going to sway your opinion at all? No. Actually, I'm glad it didn't. Because you know what? This was actually a really fun game to play. Let me tell you guys, I could not put this thing down. As cheesy as that sounds, I was actually entranced with this game. Now, you play as one of four characters I mentioned. You level up as you complete missions. You find new weapons. You find armor. And yeah. You get stronger as you complete the level. It's an action RPG, which I actually prefer that. I, I know classic turn-based RPGs, tactical RPGs, things of that nature are actually not bad either. But action RPGs are more of my style, especially this kind. It's, it plays a lot like a 2D platforming game. And that's my kind of forte. You, you have a main character that has a hack slash attack, a dash, a jump, a ranged attack that you can shoot and charge up. And you can even swing to and fro from the obstacles on the stage. And as you progress, each mission gets harder, of course. So there's a lot of grinding. Personally, what I had to do was replay some of the early missions over and over and over. Sell items until I got the items and weapons that I wanted. Which, you know, the game allows you to do all this from a central hub. There's a village that has an inn, a bar, a weapon shop a marketplace, things like that. So it's it's pretty self-contained, and that's also another thing I like. This isn't as expansive of a game as like a Skyrim or something like that. It's a very small game in, in the grand scheme of that. It's not open world. However, there's actually a lot of RPG content here to digest. And not to mention, the physical version comes with all the character packs and additional quest DLC and a limited edition striker gear pack so a lot of dlc is included in the physical version and it comes actually in two separate little leaflets that are inside the package yeah and as i mentioned it's actually a lot of fun one of the main highlights of dragon mark for death is that you can play co-op multiplayer with up to four friends locally or online now the main downside to playing locally is that everybody has to own a copy of the game and their own nintendo switch so you're not able to play on one switch so that's one huge negative thing on this game but if you have a whole bunch of friends that are gung-ho about it and you know you get a whole bunch of friends to come over and play you can have a lot of fun with it and and my character my favorite one was the cute red one and yeah she's she's adorable she's my new waifu now the game just like all the other inti create games it's like a 16-bit type of looking aesthetic the sprites and everything this looks like something that would have been on the super nintendo and you know it plays a lot it remind me a lot of like azure striker gun vault basically which was another inti creates game and yeah there, there's a lot of options that i mentioned lots of weapons lots of upgrades as you earn experience you can you know do like your skills and stuff like that so there's definitely a lot of replayability when it comes to checking out this game it's not something that you can just complete in one sitting I played for a few hours the first time I got this, and I was just leveling up. I, and I was having fun doing it. It didn't feel like a chore, didn't feel tedious, and everything about the game is actually really, really solid. It, it's a solid platforming game that has RPG elements, and, and I like that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead, demo the game just a little bit for you right now, and then we'll close up with some final thoughts. All right, so this is the main town in Dragon Mark for Death. It's kind of like a hub. There is ability to uh, access missions, rest, and uh, do all that stuff, buy, um, you know, weaponry, 
things of that nature. Let's go ahead and do a mission. I've cleared a few, and I have access to a few. Now, you're able to do single player, local, and online. Um, I haven't been able to connect online to do a mission, but there's, there's a few on here. You can see I've cleared about six. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start from the beginning just just to show you guys um, just exactly how it is. Now it has a lot of RPG elements, so you encounter weapons and armor and things like that, and you gain experience points that can go towards upgrading your character. You can play up to four people. Um, each person has to have their own switch and their own game, so that's kind of a little bummer. It would have been neat if everybody could just play. All at once on the same switch uh, there's four characters to choose from so there's a variety of gameplay options uh, my favorite one is the the red character that I'm currently playing as and I really love the graphics when it comes to the way the game looks as you can see you could zoom in you could zoom out for the view uh, I prefer to be just a little bit out so I can see what's going on um, and the game plays like a 2D, uh, I guess a, a hack and slash or beat em up game, to be quite honest. Um, it's not bad in any regard. I actually enjoy it. Um, you encounter enemies, you see their life meter, they drop loot. And I, I believe you unlock ways of uh, certain attacks and stuff as you progress. You have a, of course, your your sword attack. Then you have a jump, and then you have a ranged attack, which you can actually charge, like so. And then these are emotes for like when you're playing a game with each other. You could even uh, you can even dash. I ain't talking dash galaxy and insane asylum either. And then there's a a way to to hook and swing across like that. So it's, it's it's actually really really uh, a a neat little a neat little game, and uh, I was actually addicted to playing it for quite some time just the other day. Oh look, I received a door key. Kill this Venus fly trap. Get it. Accessory. So I got an accessory. I can check my equipment here. Let's see exactly. Nope, I can't. So I guess I have to uh, check my equipment and equip it after uh, this round. But that's that's possible loot. Oh, I ran into an enemy. That's possible loot that I have that I'm uh, I'm able to use to power up my character. And, basically make her stronger so now I believe the door I gotta open is way over here and again I, I like stuff like this um, I think Inti crates usually make some some pretty decent games look at this got some some health from a piece of fruit like a lot of fresh fruit lying around chocolate chips on my pancakes go so let's see we got a big ogre bastard over here nope we got a little tiny goblin looking I've been putting all of my experience points into strength so my attacks can be um, much stronger Much stronger than than they have been. That way, I don't <laughs> I don't die as easier. Because initially, some of these missions were actually really tough uh, for me going in because my character wasn't level up. So there is some grinding, some light RPG elements, of course, and some Tarzan elements as well as you just saw right there. So there is some RPG elements and stuff, but this this isn't like your standard RPG. This is more like an action RPG. 
which is actually more of my bag, baby, if you know what I mean. Alright, so, pursuing on, and then you'll see once in a while you get items dropped. And yeah, like I said the other day, I was just playing this over and over, unlocking missions, and I just could not put that cookie down, so to speak. Um, I get addicted to anything that actually shows your progression, like see how I'm gaining experience when I'm uh, killing these guys. I really enjoy. There's like a satisfaction to it, you know. It's like I know, I know my my efforts are being. Uh, being given in real time. I, I just I don't know. There's just something about it that makes me feel very good inside. No, I'm saying. Oh, look, treasure chest. Let's go up here. Let's grab this sucker. Let's see what's inside. Received another accessory, boys. I'm sure there's like different pathways and stuff that I've yet to uh, to unlock. So that's what's also good about this game is there's a lot of replayability. Uh, you're able to uh, come back, replay the levels that you missed once you have like new power-ups and gear and stuff like that. Maybe you can replay it with like, a different character. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Here's this bastard. So there's ogres in this game. I'm really taking these guys down. Don't think it's that easy initially, guys. Um, it took a lot of building up. Here's a boss fight, by the way. It took a lot of building up to get to where I'm at. Boss fight. Oh, you have this big slice, too, if you use the R button. There we go. It looks like I'm gonna get through this pretty easy. A little too easy. So yeah, that was me being powered up from from what I've been grinding. So that was that was actually a little too easy. But you guys get the hint, right? You know. And now I'm inside of a temple. Pitch black. I don't think I'm supposed to come here yet. <laughs> but yeah, guys, you get the idea of the game. So guys, Dragon Mark for Death is a pretty addictive little game. Um, I'm not a big RPG guy, but stuff like this actually captures my attention. As I said, you know, it's all in real time. It a, has a real good retro feel. And it's really a lot of fun to play. And there's different variety of options to play with other people. Which, you know, there's not too many games where you can actually play at the same time with people. And and that always draws me in to, uh, to really give a game a shot and see if I can sink my teeth into it. So, the main thing that I think makes it a buy is that, one, it's physical. Physical games on the Switch are nice. And that it comes with all the DLC. And it's not expensive at all. It's actually a pretty affordable game. And it just, it's actually surprisingly good, in my opinion. And I don't see too many people actually talking about it. That's also another reason why I wanted to present it to you guys on the channel. It's kind of flown underneath the radar a little bit. And I think it's actually, dare I say, not a hidden gem, but a underrated gem. It's, it's, it's there. I've seen it in stores before. Anytime I've had a chance to actually tell people about this game recently, I've said, Give it a go. It's a good time waster. If you take it portably, you can play this in the drag, you know, in the doctor's office, and just you know, gain a few levels, grind a little bit, just lose lose yourself in the game, you know, because it's it's one of those games, a pick up and play game that you can just complete a couple missions, you know, maybe get some friends online and stuff. So yeah, I, I actually really really enjoyed it. If I was to rate it on the ABE game grading scale, the ABE GGS, I would probably give it a solid eight. But don't take my word for it. Try it out for yourself if possible. If you have the means to do so, I highly recommend it. And well, guys, that's it for today's video. 
Thanks a lot for watching. If you're new to the channel, throw a subscription, comment, like, all that good jazz. I will see you guys on the flip side, baby.